Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Mandy and seems like it's been a while. <laughs> um, I already have been out this morning. My friend has been coming over um, around eight every morning that um, my Clayton goes to work and we've been going out and taking a nice walk. So I've already gotten out this morning got a little walk in. I'll probably go out a little bit later and try to do a little bit of running, but um, it's nice to chat and walk and get in some extra steps. I love it. Love it. So right now, it's just after nine. I haven't had any coffee yet. Um, I want to make some breakfast. I want to make some bre enough breakfast for today and tomorrow just so I have it ready for tomorrow because I find that if I'm, you know, if I'm hungry, I just grab little stuff that I probably shouldn't be eating. So I've been trying to eat higher protein, so we're gonna try, we're gonna find something. <laughs> but I know that I have a bunch of bell peppers in the fridge. All right, I found all kinds of goodies, but today is um, March 21st, and at the beginning of the month, I bought all these peppers, and I haven't used any of them yet, so they still actually all feel really good, which is incredible, because I can buy a pepper at Walmart and uh, have it be bad in a couple days. So I also have a lot of onions. Um, some of my onions were sprouting, so I need to start using those up. I'm gonna use those. I have this potato. I cooked some in the Instant Pot um, a couple days ago, and this one is left. I'm gonna use bacon. It's not the most calorie friendly. Sorry about the visor, but uh, once it's on, it's staying on <laughs> until I do my hair. But um, I also have some cottage cheese. I'm gonna use this too. So maybe if I lift you up a little. Eh, we're not gonna worry about it. So I'm gonna cook some breakfast. I have some things I wanna get done today. I'm not gonna open my mouth and say any of them because that is a sure way for me to not get anything done. So let me get some eggs out. I'm going to saute this all up. Did I say? It's like a scramble and should have enough for today and tomorrow. Um, what is today's Thursday? I was gonna start my sourdough. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna get my sourdough starter out and I'm gonna start that as well. Um, I can let it sit tonight and bake it tomorrow. I like to bake two loaves, one for us and one for my daughter because she really enjoys sourdough too. So we'll do that today. And I know for sure I harvested what I harvested my little cabbages yesterday out of the garden and um, I'm just gonna cut them all up today put them in Ziploc bags and oh, I'm gonna add some cabbage to this too because I have some already cut up in the fridge so um, I'm just gonna yeah cut it up and put it in Ziploc bags there's one like firm one that I think will be fine in the fridge for a while but the rest didn't really fill out very well so yeah all right let me make breakfast and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, my bacon is more than done. That was four pieces of bacon. I got another pan out so that I could fry some potatoes for Caitlin because she doesn't like uh, cooked bell pepper and onion. So I'm gonna, there's some onions in here for my bacon. But browning too fast. And then I'll put the bell peppers. I got the bell peppers chopped up. There's a whole bell pepper. I've got this cabbage and put all of that in there. This, um, my two thirds of the potato, I'm gonna cook for Caitlin. And then I'm just gonna chop this up and throw it in my scramble. Sorry. Dishwasher's going and the frying is very loud. Now let's uh, make some coffee. All right, I got some ice here in my uh, keep the tiny humans alive cup. <laughs> I'm just using stove today. I kind of go back and forth on if I just like the black coffee with the creamer or if I like Starbucks vanilla latte with a little bit of creamer. I find I put more creamer in the black coffee, so I don't know. Let me get a straw. Mm. Mm. 
Decisions, decisions. See, now it looks like I put too much cream in. <sighs> nope, it's perfect. Okay. I also got my sourdough starter out of the fridge. It's just been <laughs> chilling in there. I need to stir it up, and I'm just gonna like waking it up with some flour and let it sit on the counter for a couple hours. And when it has doubled, I will put together my sourdough bread. All right. Ooh, it's super thick. All right, and I'm not measuring. I'm just adding some flour to like feed it. And it will start bubbling up and be ready to go. Depending on how warm it is in my kitchen, sometimes this happens in like two hours. Sometimes it takes like four. Um, as long as I get it done or started before noon, I should be fine. I don't know if you can see, it's really, it's really thick. I almost make it like a dough consistency. It just has been working for me. <laughs> why, why change something that's been working, right? So, so, lots of information on the internet about sourdough. I have found that if you do it yourself long enough, you find what works for you. So, it doesn't have to be a science. All right, that's it. And then I just loosely set this on top. And we'll come back and the starch should pretty much be full, so we'll check on it again later. All right, I just put six eggs in with what was left of my cottage cheese. I added half a cup of Fair Life milk, and oops, um, I used my immersion blender and just blended it up in there. This is all done. It's got the bacon, onion, bell pepper, cabbage, and that little bit of potato. I seasoned it with salt and pepper and Mrs. Dash. And I'm just pour this in. And this is definitely going to be more than two <laughs> breakfasts, but that's okay. All right, it's pretty much done. I was just trying to dry out the eggs a little bit. I think the cabbage had a little too much liquid. I don't know what happened, honestly. Maybe I added too much milk, but um, they were just a little wetter than I wanted, but it's done. I'm going to turn it off and put at least two portions of this in the fridge, and then I am going to sit down and eat. It's almost 10 o'clock, so I don't know. I may or may not want to have lunch today. We shall see. This is a lot of vegetables though. I mean, honestly, it'll be, if it's three servings, it's two eggs, a lot of vegetables, and uh, just a little over one piece of bacon. So not really bad calorie wise. I don't count calories every day or count my protein. I'm just trying to get into a habit of eating things that are low calorie and high protein. So like when I go to eat breakfast, I'm not eating a bowl of cereal, you know, I'm looking for something that has a good amount of protein in it and is not really heavy on the calories. And the same with all of my meals really. And also snacks. If I reach for a snack, which I really haven't been doing lately, which is amazing, um, you know, it's, it's a protein shake or yogurt or um, string cheese, something that is higher in protein or just like some vegetables or something. So I, I do still on the weekends, like when my family's enjoying like chips or something, I do still eat that stuff. I just try to not sit there and eat half a bag. <laughs> so it's going really good. I am losing weight. I haven't really gone into that part of it, but um, I am losing weight. I am feeling fuller. <coughs> oh, sorry, I <laughs> had to sneeze. Um, I am feeling fuller, just feeling good. Yeah, so it's going good. Yeah, I tell you what, 
don't film for a couple days and you completely forget to pick up and film. So, I painted my nails. I also got groceries delivered and did a grocery haul. I was kind of waiting for my breakfast to settle so I didn't come out and exercise with a bunch of food in my stomach. And uh, I know it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's okay though. So, I'm not gonna talk very long, I know. It's, it's breezy, I wouldn't say it's windy, but it's breezy. And I know sometimes it's hard to hear me, so <sighs> every day that my wonderful friend comes over and walks with me and I get back out here, I'm hitting like 12,000 or more steps. So over spring break, there was like five days straight I did not exercise, I didn't catch you guys up, but so Friday, not last Friday, but the Friday before, my husband took Friday off and then Monday and Tuesday. So we had like a five day weekend. I didn't film, I didn't exercise. Three out of those five days it rained. One day, hailed, lightning, thunder, all the things. And two days, it was clear. And those two days, we went out and took two day trips, and it was great. We actually, the last day on Tuesday, we had scheduled a chartered fishing trip for Caitlin because she loves fishing. And it's her spring break. And we were so excited, so excited. And the day before, he emailed me on Monday afternoon and said, because of things out of his control, he had to cancel. Oh, I was so upset. No, you know, let's reschedule. Let's try again next weekend. Nothing, nothing. So that was so disappointing. But we took her uh, to the river anyway. She got to um, use the kayak and we saw a gigantic brown rattlesnake. Oh, so big. So now when I come out here, I'm like, Val, stay on the, stay on the road. No, no going out into the brush, the brush, the, the desert bush. So yeah, that was our vacation. That's why I didn't film or Wednesday. What did I do Wednesday? Yesterday. I don't feel like I did anything. You ever need like a rest day after vacation? <laughs> I think that was yesterday. I did go walking with my friend. Oh, I planted all of my seeds and I outpotted all of my um, tomato plants and peppers. Maybe I'll throw a clip in of that right here. top. It took about three hours. Um, I'm gonna say it's at its peak so I'm gonna whip up 
two loaves of my sourdough bread. I'm not going to share that with you. I'm not confident in it enough to share it, but um, maybe soon. The more I make it, the more, you know, confident I'll get. But um, if you haven't started a sourdough starter and used it, uh, you should, even if just for like discard recipes. Um, my hamburger bun recipes, my hamburger bun recipe with sourdough discard is the best, best hamburger buns I've ever made. So um, I'll try to remember to leave that link down below, but uh, I started mine with a potato. I think it was Kent Rollins uh, sourdough starter. <laughs> you start with a potato, flour, and water, and you don't have to feed it. So mine's been going for about two years, and uh, yep, going strong. All right, I'm going to try making homemade ice cream sandwiches. Um, so I'm doing this part today. Tomorrow we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the rest of it, but I just took this square pan that I have, to, that I have, um, I don't know, maybe eight by eight. I'm going to scoop some of this ice cream, this very delicious ice cream, into this pan and flatten it out as best I can and freeze it. And then tomorrow we will bake the cookie part and we'll put it together. So let's, I don't know, this, I just took this ice cream out. I don't know if it's gonna be soft enough to scoop yet or not. We're gonna try. It's okay. I don't want it to get too soft to where it's like, you know, melted and then it won't be as creamy anymore. That would be gross. And I don't want a really thick amount of ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. This is my first time I was going to buy ice cream sandwiches because it's getting warm here. But I thought, you know what? How about I don't? Okay, a little bit more. I thought about buying a container and like plopping it out and cutting it and trying to fit it into a pan, but I think this is going to work fine. I don't know how I'm gonna flatten it, but we'll just do our best. than I thought it would be. If I did it again, I think I would throw the pan in the freezer so it would go into a cold pan and because it's getting pretty soft pretty quickly, but I think it will be okay. I'm just going to take this excess plastic wrap and put it over the top so it doesn't get any flavors from the freezer. And tomorrow's Friday. I think it'll be a Perfect day to try out a homemade ice cream sandwich or Saturday or sometime this weekend. So, all right, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I think it went, that, that part went okay. All right, I'm gonna pop these back in the freezer and I'm gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna finish this and finish out the video. All right, good morning. I am making my ice cream sandwich um, crust, I guess you could say. I have eight ounces of chocolate in here. This called for, well, technically it calls for one cup of butter and two cups of chocolate chips, but I'm cutting it in half because it's for a big old pan and I'm just using that little eight by eight. So 
I got some sink stuff out here. It's like cleaning day, so I'm trying to get this done. I actually <laughs> I dealt with my bread this morning, and I have my cast iron heating up, but I thought this is going to take a while, so I want to get this done. I want to be done in the kitchen so I can clean. Anyway, I'm halving this. I am completely out of chocolate chips. Can you even believe it? I can't believe it. Um, so I had these like melting wafers. Well, I only had like four ounces, so I had to take some of my precious Hershey's chocolate that I was going to use for something else, but um, it's okay. I'll get more. And I have eight ounces of chocolate in here. Is that right? No. Yeah. One cup of chocolate chips. This calls for one cup of butter and I'm just, I'm halving it. So I got half a cup of butter. Anyway, you melt this in the microwave, let it cool, and then you add all the other stuff to it. So let me melt this and then um, I'm just going to mix it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, my chocolate and butter are melted. It took a little while because my Hershey's chocolate, I got fresh out of the freezer. So you're supposed to allow this to cool slightly, whatever that means, um, probably just so it doesn't cook the egg. Then you're gonna add your sugar, your eggs, and your vanilla. I think while that's cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and mix the rest of these things in a separate bowl because you're supposed to add those in last. So I'm also gonna get my pan out. I already took the ice cream out this morning. I just threw it back in the freezer, but I got the pan out so it wasn't frozen. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. Am I? Yeah, definitely gonna line it with parchment paper. Um, I'll show you my bread. I actually forgot, well, I didn't forget. I was lazy last night and I just let it continue rising in the bowl so this morning when i woke up i went ahead and shaped it and put it in the that well this is a towel lined bowl but i couldn't find my other um like tea towel like this that i use for bread so i just floured this one really good i i am i have high hopes that it's going to come out of this bowl they both have risen already a little bit this morning and they were huge this morning when I looked at them when I got up. So as soon as this ice cream cookie crust is done, I am going to bake the bread and then I'll show you it all completed. All right, my ice cream um, crust is out. I got this <laughs> out of this bowl. It was feeling like it was gonna be a problem, but it wasn't. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to score it and I don't do anything fancy. This is my sharpest knife, which is not acting very sharp right now. I got my second loaf of bread in the oven. I'm going to put this together. So this is what it looks like. I cooked one more crispy than the other one and I feel like it should be crunchier because once it sits on the ice cream, it, the ice cream is going to soften it. And I feel like the second one, I don't know. I feel like it's more like a soft brownie. I'm just worried it's gonna like crumble when I cut them or we eat them. But anyway, here's my ice cream. It's not very even, <laughs> but that's okay. I think they're still gonna taste delicious. And mainly because this is bluebell ice cream, which is amazing. Let's see if I can get the plastic off. And I would like to say this wasn't hard. Like anything else, it just took quite a few steps. And I don't know, we're gonna find out if it was worth it or not. So, oh yeah, it's already melting. I'm going to shove the ice cream in there. Wow, that fits pretty perfectly. 
And then this crunchier one. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have flipped it that direction. in plastic and we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna let it freeze for a couple hours and then we'll cut it and I will bring you back for that. All right, the bread is all done. This was the first one. This was the second one. I think they turned out great. They like puffed up like I wanted and I'm pretty happy with them. I will, uh, you know, the truth is when you cut it, <laughs> if there's any bubbles in it, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be, I'm pretty happy with uh, mixing it up in the mixer too. So uh, yeah, happy with that. Sorry. All right, you guys, I cut these. I probably should have waited the ice cream for whatever reason. It's still really soft and they've been in there for a couple hours. So um, <laughs> that's what they look like. The cookie's still hard, kind of disappointed. Um, I'm gonna throw them back in the freezer and hopefully we can eat them tonight and they won't be <laughs> uh, like break your teeth hard or anything. And Caitlin asked me to cut the bread before it cooled. So I've got it cooling over here, but that's what it looks like. I don't know why. Oh, there's just some moisture from it sitting on the counter, I guess. That's weird. Oh yeah, it's a little wet over there. That's very weird. Anyway, that's what the bread looks like. Um, it's very soft, which is what I want. I want soft bread. I don't like the crust to be so hard to where it like cuts the roof of your mouth. So I'm super happy with it. It tastes really nice and sour. Not a lot of holes, but I think that is because my um, like liquid ratio is, um, I have like a higher flour more flour than liquid I don't know you guys there's like a science to it but like I said I can't handle all that so this is delicious it makes great toast or sandwich or Caitlin just heats it up and puts butter on it so it's delicious this one's ready for my oldest daughter to come get this weekend and we've got bread we've got dessert I took ground beef out for dinner and that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys hang enjoyed hanging out with me and I'll see you again really soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!